In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this eye zoom effect inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. Now, before we get into this, you just need to get two video clips, a wide shot and a close up. One wide is just going to be you standing there and the close up is going to be the close up on your eye. You want to shoot it a little bit wider though, because we want a little bit of room to zoom in to the shot. So once you've got those two, let's get into After Effects. So the first step is to go into Layer, New, Null Object, drag that to the top, select both of those videos, and then use this Pick Whip tool and drag that to the Null. So they're now both linked to the Null. So if we zoom out on the Null, both of those video clips are going to zoom out. And this is how we're going to control that zoom. Now from here, we want to just pull this second video clip, the close up one frame back in time. Then we are going to go onto the top layer, press T on the keyboard to load opacity and pull that down. And then before we carry on, we're just going to press the lock icon to lock the bottom layer. So the close up and then on the top layer, we're just going to zoom all the way in until this matches. So we need to go a little bit further on the zoom. We're almost there. And there we go. I think that's close enough. So from here, we can pull the opacity back to 100% on the first layer. And on null one, we are just going to go to that second clip, create a brand new keyframe on scale and position a few frames later. And then we'll go to the left a little bit so that we can see this top layer to the first video clip. And we are just going to zoom the scale all the way out until the video now appears back at normal size and then pull the position to reset it like this. So now we have this. You can see at the moment, it's not amazing, but we're definitely making some progress. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight all of those keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease. So you can see that's smooth out the motion. Now I do plan on just zooming in on the one eye. So I'm gonna to go to those last set of keyframes and I'm actually just going to modify that a bit. So I'm going to scale in a pinch, bring the position up, and then I'm just gonna sit that there. So this will be my shot. So you can see that's much better. By scaling in, we've got rid of this black edge. However, we really just want to clean this up a little bit more. And to do that, we are going to go into motion tile. So drop motion tile onto the second video clip, but you'll notice this is still locked. So we need to unlock it and then drag motion tile on. Now in motion tile, we'll go to output width and go to 200, output height, go to 200, and then select mirror edges. So we've just extended the shot out. Now on its own, when you look at this frame, you can tell the head is mirrored because it's going upwards like that. But when you play this back at full speed, you can barely notice. Now, of course, we do need to add some motion blur to really cover everything up. So go into the timeline, select both of those videos and then select this icon here. So that is motion blur. And you can see if you select toggle switches slash modes, if this is what you are seeing, then you just need to press that button to reveal motion blur and then make sure motion blur is blue. So this enables it. If that is grayed out, then it doesn't work, even if this is enabled. So you have to turn it on with this button. So now when we play this back, you can see that looks a lot better, although I'm still noticing a subtle flash. So I'm just going to pull this second clip over to the left to pinch. And I'm going to pull the top one over to the right a bit. And on the top layer, we'll go into opacity. When this clip starts here, we're going to create a brand new keyframe on opacity at 100. Go to the end and pull that to zero. So we're fading into the second clip. You can see that's taken care of that really nicely. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit of a bounce, then you can. So to do that, we're just going to go to the end go a few keyframes to the right and create a brand new keyframe on position and scale. And then we'll go to those middle keyframes and just push the scale in even further. Pull it back a little bit. And now when we play this back, this zooms in and bounces out a pinch. Although you'll notice because we're coming to the end of the movement when it's still fading, we're getting that crossfade up here. So we just need to move the action to that zoom to cover the fading like this. Now the bounce is completely your call. And if you do have the bounce, you can have a slow bounce like this. 
So it takes a while to get back into the position. Or you could have a really quick bounce. It's completely your call, but that is how you do the eye zoom effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.